Hello boys, my name is Modrim and I welcome you to another New World video. Now today I want to show you how I rise my expertise level from zero, basically 500 to 590. I have not been doing much for the past few days. To be honest, I didn't log in because of the PTR changes, the item level bump, I'll be honest, not a good change in my opinion, way too early, especially since I introduced the expertise system right before this one so not good not good by the way those mutators are really really hard so you need specialized gear for this one so you need like five or four equipments pvp equipment pv equipment mutator equipment luck gear crafting gear so much and we don't have any stands and r limited room for all this not something i'm looking forward to i'll be honest but i'm still rising my expertise i'm currently at five 47 average so my armor is nearly maxed 590 in my chest so for armor you have a higher chance to grab an expertise bump because you have light armor medium armor and heavy armor for your shield you also have three chances the three shield types i forgot which one they are but there are three types it's really rare to get an expertise bump for a shield when you're not wearing a shield so unequip your shield slot and equip your shield slot if you want to bump up your expertise for your shield slot for weapons there is only a one percent chance whenever you drop a weapon it can roll an expertise bump and for your amulets rings and earrings there is also a one percent chance well there is one more thing when we look at the mines right here 63 64 recommended players five but most of my expertise bumps i got from the mines when we look at my equipment we see five nine zero for my chest five eight five for my boots i shouldn't be that high if i only do low level zones right well i think this one is buggy and is not influenced by the level of the zone so when you go to these zones loot your chest kill your enemies get that juice it bumps up your expertise regardless of the level of the zone but i could be wrong maybe it's influenced by the average expertise so if you go to a zone and your average expertise is 575 the chance decreases and out of that let's go over the juicy stuff so what do i do every single day i do a mines run right here very fast you can do this solo but i would highly recommend doing, doing this one with a group of up to 10 people don't do it with more because i lead to mobs don't drop obsidian gypsum or have a lower chance to drop obsidian gypsum then more players attack this one and you can do this comfortably with 10 people afterwards i look for a portal run to get my amethyst gypsum and do a miracle run a condensed miracle run so we don't get this chest and i think a few other chests around here are not feasible so the portal run usually jumps down here right yeah down here and you don't get this chest in this chest but an unethical pro tip is to just pull those mobs the big sword guys into the portals if you have a large enough group it's no problem and they get killed you can loot the chest i don't want to tell you to do this because that's really really bad for a lot of reasons you can wipe your group especially when the group is smaller but if the group is really large and you really really want the chest maybe communicate with your group to kill those elites afterwards i just move on to eden grove and do my malevolent route there is one on my channel this one takes around 10 minutes you get all chests without a group it's very easy to do next up i move to rick water and do my syrian stand route this one is also doable as a solo player very easy to do in fact i will upload one in a few days i think in two videos or something like that but you can find a lot of those on YouTube if you want to see it from me. Please subscribe. I would happily get your view. I would happily show you my route. That's about it. What do I do next? If you are just starting out, I would highly advise you to do the Lazarus instrumentality key quests. You can get two for free and Genesis key quests. You can also get two for free. Those you sell. Sell for the max money possible, right? You will get a lot of funding like 45k at least and afterwards with this fund you can either push your professions you can buy gear or you can buy more orbs i personally always craft my lazarus orb and sell it but i do not pay for lazarus instrumentality keys because lazarus instrumentality has less bosses less chests less of a chance to grab an expertise bump it's not worth it to pay 2.5k for lazarus instrumentality to bump up your expertise it's much much more worth it to go to the genesis dungeon right here garden of genesis this one has more chests more bosses more elite enemies so just more chance to grab your expertise bumps you usually get eight here around eight six to eight and only two to three in lazarus instrumentality now this average can fluctuate quite a lot but i did both dungeons over 10 times and i have to say garden of genesis wins 
hands down. By the way, based on the cost, Genesis is just mo more worth it, right? You pay 1.5k for the key, you get around 1k, maybe less, raw coin just from doing the dungeon, so you only have a deficit of 500. You can do so many keys with just the Lazarus instrumentality, warp money you made, right? It's just better value for the money you spent. But if you want expertise per money spent, arenas are 100% more worth it. Like you have one in Eden Grove right here. You have one in Reekwater, like two in Reekwater. One is in the Spire of Meloponne. There is a entrance right here. You can just run up around those alligators and traverse through the sphere and stand up to the arena without much trouble. And the eternal pool is a bit more tricky. You need to navigate around the rocks here. There's like two tentacles, but you can navigate around this part and climb up those rocks here. It's very glitchy, but it's doable. And you can get to the eternal pool without fighting those mobs. This one is very easy to get to. You just teleport to, uh, to this shrine and walk to the key entrance portal. As far as value goes, you get a guaranteed expertise bump for this one. You have a chest, right? And this chest can drop three basic items. Every single item has a specific chance of 1% to be an expertise bump. What happens if you already have every single item at 590? You just roll a specific range for the item and this item cannot roll an expertise bump. Now, what happens if only one of those three items can get an expertise bump? This one single item will get the expertise bump because the chest has a guaranteed expertise bump. So if you happen to roll three items with no possible expertise bump at 590 expertise, but you have more expertise open, right? You have boots at 540, for example, but roll 590 expertise items in a chest, you don't get a guaranteed expertise bump because the chest does not look for an item that has a low expertise one, just randomly rolls items. That's why you don't get an expertise bump from dungeons or arenas when you already have 590 expertise items. They just cannot roll any and you don't roll more items specifically for the chest. This one is, the Eden Grove is not popular. It's very tedious to do. I personally really like it. It's an interesting boss fight. Um, this one in the turn pool is very easy. It's not memorable at all. It's just a tank as bank boss, not really a mechanic heavy fight. And the one right here in Sinner and Stand is very, very tough on light armor users. Like I died 20 times when I first did this one. I didn't switch from light armor to medium armor and the boss just one shot me over and over and over again. Leaves behind those spires, the spears with electric energy, ticks for a shit ton of the damage. So use your medium armor, heavy armor for this one. Otherwise, very easy to do. You get 200 coin, raw coin from the boss. So when you do this one with 200 fee 250 entry fee you can get even with just this one so it basically doesn't cost you anything to do this one you just need to do the key stuff so we are now at the st stone cutting table i will show you real quick which ones are the keys Siren tuning orb, mono Zeus tuning orb, and the protectors tuning orb are just for the arena. You need one star metal chisel. This one costs 3000 reputation tokens. Very easy to get with just the dailies. Five rune stones. Those cost around 200 on my server. You need five. So we are at 1.2k coin cost for this one. An energy core costs me around well, 100 coin. And the glowing swamp moss is very easy to acquire for just a few coins, like three or five coins just for five. So, so the arena entry cost will be around 250 for my players to get even. Very easy, very nice. Next up is the Genesis Orb. The Asmodeum Chisel costs much, much more. I personally do it whenever I can because I like getting money. You can you basically sell this one for profit. So the Lazarus tuning orb, I always craft this one, sell this one. It's really good value for the money you spend. Asmodeum chisel is a bit on the expensive side, but talk about I was capped, so I bought a few of them. After you craft those, this one has a cap of five, this one has a cap of three, and this one has a cap of one. Sell those, make a profit, really, really great for this. Now, what about the rest? Portals? not worth it. Like you can do portal runs in Abenskill Reach right here. Lover's Shrine is one nice route. There is another one in Reekwater, but this one is not good. Way too much moving. And the Great Cleave is the most popular one. You just do all of those portals really good for Azov, really bad for expertise because you need 30 small chests for one expertise bump and 10 
10, yeah, 10 big ones for one expertise bump. So way too much time investment. You need to do two rounds for two expertise bumps. It costs you way too much time, not worth it. Elite farming, Scorched Mines is okay, but the most popular one is right at the top of Malevolence. You basically sit FK for like 10 minutes, kill the boss, sit for FK for 10 minutes. It's really nice to do on the side when you don't have much to do and want to have a chance to get the expertise bump. But I usually only do this for the obsidian. Usually don't do this at all, to be honest. The next best is the serious stand one. There's like three bosses you can do right here and here and here. So you cycle around, kill those bosses and get your obsidian gypsum. I personally don't like doing this. It's very boring, very tedious, doesn't give you much expertise. At the start, I enjoyed it for one hour and afterwards I never did this one again. Basically not worth it. You can run arenas, chest runs, your daily chest runs, Genesis orbs, much, much better for expertise. And the last one is outpost rush, right, right there. I usually don't do this on my server because there is one Premade that dominates this one and it's a stomp not balanced at all on my server. If you want to do this one, it's a nice side bonus when you queue up for Outpost Rush. So you syndicate right here. It's basically the same, maybe 10, it's probably around 10 to get the expertise bump. Uh, same as with the large portal chests. So not good for expertise at all. But the red gypsum, the ruby gypsum, good to go. You can grab this one. I personally don't target farm gypsum, at least not at this stage. It's just more worth to just do my Genesis runs. It's my chest runs and my arena runs. That's basically all I do. I still have one Genesis orb I need to do today. You get one Sapphire Gypsum per run. So that's another Gypsum buff. Anyway, if you want to support me, make sure to leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment and follow me on Twitch. See you next time and bye.